the wrong people that you are in intimate relationships with are people that can help you go anywhere or do anything huh so you need to get you some people in your life named concern confidence cooperation and competence all right so how do you go about establishing positive relationships in your life how can you attract how can you uh, uh, be privy to people that are concerned people who have confidence people who, who are uh, about cooperation and competence how do you do it well there are three steps I'm gonna give them to you in case I don't get a chance to finish it today you'll have the outline and we can finish up on uh, a later time first of all if you're going to establish positive relationships you have to seek to establish relationships with people who are compassionate toward you all right people who are compassionate toward you then secondly if you want to seek uh to establish positive relationship you've got to uh, uh attract people and associate with people who not only have compassion toward you but who are courageous for you huh courageous for you and then thirdly and finally if you want to establish positive relationship not only should you attract people that are compassionate towards you have courage for you but people watch this who are committed to you huh people who are committed to you and all of these things all three of them and more are right here in the text nestled between verses 1 through 11 in Mark chapter number 2. All right, let's look at the text. Look at the text. Look at the text. Look at the text. Watch where these friends took the man. All right. They took the man. Here we go. To Jesus. They took the man to Jesus now 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 get this get this any one of them could have settled in on their names their personalities their character and fooled the man into thinking that he could survive or uh, uh, survive with their relationship only if the man could have more concern he probably would have gotten better if he had confidence that he can do it, that everything was gonna be all right, he probably would have gotten better. If he could have wrapped himself in cooperating with somebody else and helping them with their problem, he probably would have gotten better. If he had established some degree of competence about himself, ability, agility, he would have gotten better. But no, 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 no. Concern, confidence, cooperation, and confident, confidence saw that they were not enough alone for the man so watch this this is what they did they took him to jesus huh they took him to where he could find not some things not where he could be partially delivered but they took him to somebody who could heal him uh completely who could make him whole they took him to jesus look at the text they took him to jesus it says in verse number three then they came to him jesus bringing a paralytic who was carried by four they brought the man to jesus tell your neighbor they brought him to jesus huh well, where do you see the compassion here? Not only do I see the compassion in the fact that they brought him to Jesus, the text says that they picked him up. Huh? They, 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 they picked him up. That's what it says. Look in Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5. And um, if you'll notice, uh, uh, verse number 18. Luke chapter 5, 18. It said, Then behold, men brought on a bed a man who was paralyzed whom they sought to bring and lay before him. They picked him up. That's where their compassion is shown. Because listen, every time Jesus performed a miracle, huh? when he sees a problem, when he sees something that people are struggling with, when he sees something that people are going through, the Bible says that he had compassion on them and his compassion led him not.